hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are giving you a tour of the finished section of the Maypen to Mandeville highway now this is the highway this is the project to build a highway from Maypen to Mandeville and that will cut the travel time down to 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes so we are by the Maypen interchange that they're building heading towards the Rio Mino bridge this is just to give you a quick update as to what the road is going to look like. This road isn't, it's over 94% finished and it should be opened by the end of August, which is three weeks from now. And we'll give you guys daily, I'm sorry, not daily, weekly updates on the project until the end of August. But by all indications, this project will finish in three weeks. On the left, that's the China Harbor Engineering Facility. So they are also building an interchange from APEC. So you'll be able to enter and exit the highway at this interchange in both directions to go to APEC. So if you're coming from Mandeville, you want to get off in Maypen, there is an exit. If you're coming from Kingston, there is an exit on the other side. It's similar to the entrance and exit they have for Old Harbour. And the good thing is there is no toll plaza to go through when entering or exiting in Maypen. So it's going to mean at this exit it's going to make it so much easier for people on the highway to come off go into Maypen and get back on so this it this would be the entrance if you are coming from Maypen to go onto the highway it's just that we're going down it And on the right, that is where you would turn to go on to the Maypen Bypass and into Maypen via Glenmuir Drive. And as you can see, or you'll see now, more in a little bit, they've put up the Jersey barrier making it a dual carriageway. There you can see the Jersey barrier. So this is a major, major interchange on the highway. And even when you get out onto the Maypen Bypass, they have put up the Jersey barrier there as well, so that um, it helps to control the flow of traffic. And the National Works Agency is now in charge of this project. They were put in charge of the entire Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project which includes um, Harborview to Yellow, Harborview to Portland Highway, and it also includes the Maypen to Mandeville leg of this highway. So straight ahead now, that road is the Maypen Bypass, and there you can see they've put up not one, but two Jersey barriers to help with the flow of traffic. So we just turn in the direction now to head, head to Mandeville. Now remember, Highway 2000 is a toll road, so you have to pay toll to use this road. So a lot of persons will still use the main road, which is the road that we are looking at now, to travel from even Kingston to Maypen and Maypen to Mandeville. The new toll rate from Maypen to Mandeville has not been announced yet, but the last release said that they were trying to keep the toll to below $500. But since that release came out, they have increased the toll on the other sections of the highway. So we're not sure what the final toll will be. 
But to get from May Pen to Mandeville in 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, is definitely a game changer. And I'm sure a lot of people will use the highway. So there you can see the two Jersey barriers on the left and then further over on the left. It's one Jersey barrier is to separate the May Pen bypass and then the other one is to separate the traffic coming from here onto the May Pen bypass or the main road so that you have space to to merge safely into the the flow of traffic. And this is another look. This would be if you're coming from Maypen now and you want to get on the highway, you turn left to go to Kingston, you turn right to go to. Well, the right turn would be on the other side of this overpass, but you turn right to go to Mandeville. Now, this road, if you're coming from Mandeville, you'd come down this road to exit in Maypen. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. We're going to drive out onto the, the bypass, the May Pen bypass or the main road so that you can see how it's set up. Now remember, we're going to give you weekly updates on this project for the next three weeks as the road will finish or should be finished by the end of August and open to the public. Okay, while they're working on the road, we can only turn left. But there you can see the three lanes because they have two Jersey barriers. So we're just going to make a U-turn right here and head into Maypen now. So we'll be heading towards Glenmuir Drive. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.